welcome to another edition of Hands On. I am the proud and beaming owner of the, one of the first few Jimnys delivered in India. Mine is a top spec Alpha, an automatic transmission in the bluish black color. Let me tell you a little bit about me and my cars. So this is my first Suzuki for the record and my first petrol car as well. And yes, this is now my primary car. So I have, my first car was a new Fiat Uno, a brilliant car, but I guess uh, sorry for another time. My second car was the Mahindra Scorpio and I drove it for six years. And then in 2012, I got the XUV 500 from the first batch. In 2022, I had to let go of the XUV because of the irrational NGT decision of phasing out 10-year-old diesel cars. I let it go with a heavy heart and a mouthful for the lawmakers. Okay, first question that I also had, is the bluish black really black? Yes, it is black. It is more black than it is blue. And we had actually first booked the yellow, the kinetic yellow. Uh, but the videos that we saw of the kinetic yellow, it was just too much, too many. And we were already over it. And we shifted to the black color. And I'm glad we did. Love the black gym. It looks stunning. The second question that everybody is asking or has an opinion about is that is the car expensive? Now it's a perspective I feel. This car, if you look at the price on the invoice, is just around 11 lakhs. And then you add 31,000 for the extended warranty for five years and 100,000 kilometers. And on top of that, there is the road tax, which is 1.2 lakhs for us in Haryana at 8%. And then there is 50,000 of uh, insurance. And then comes the big one. There is almost a levy of around four and a half lakhs on this top spec uh, on account of CES and 28% GST. So the government taxes and levies are really what is making the car look expensive otherwise think about it you get a really proven well designed good looking car with a proven track record and then it boasts of all these features which other suv has a 4x4 on all its variants five doors six airbags push button start cruise control, request sensors, a beautiful uh, sound system. Really, I mean, it's loaded and, and the price to me is justified, really. The car is really compact on the outside, and but it's very roomy on the inside. I am a big heavyset guy with very broad shoulders and I am really comfortable. It has a great stance, you sit high, the visibility is superb with expansive glass on all sides and these big elephant mirrors, the visibility out is outstanding. It feels very airy and roomy inside and not claustrophobic at all, which was one of my personal fears that will it be a very small car for a guy my size. It's brilliant. Also, it's really solidly built, unlike the other Suzuki cars, as you must have also heard from other people. The doors close with a loud thud. Uh, the cabin is really quiet. You can whisper and talk. 
there is hardly any engine noise there is very little road noise and the music system on this top spec is the Archimedes which is very good it is one of the better systems that I have seen in any car Okay, let me address a few questions that need addressing. Although they have been discussed to death a zillion times in the videos that you've seen so far of the Jimny. The tires. The tires do not look small on the Jimny. Everybody seems to have the opinion that they do. They are very versatile and you've seen in all the videos that have been posted by uh, car enthusiasts and auto experts who Bharuti invited to Dehradun for the off-roading experience and and trying the car uh, it's really gone well and we've seen they've done some brilliant off-roading so these cars these tires really perform well in off-road conditions and if you notice the tires are radials M plus S if you see on the tire right M plus S stands for mud and snow so they really are all-terrain tires which can really go anywhere unless you're planning to drive on the moon they are very versatile okay one of the other questions that have been asked a number of times has not been adequately answered is whether the fifth tire in the alpha spec a full alloy or is it a steel wheel so we want to reveal that for you half opened this already and it is a full size alloy which is very very good that Maruti hasn't cringed on this and given a full size alloy hmm. the seats are super comfortable for the front row passengers the seats are wide and very good for the long distance I think the back row seats are the ones that need a special mention especially the uh, the sitting position this car has what is called the stadium seating which is that the rear seats are slightly elevated from the front row seats and because of which the rear passengers get a great view of the road unlike any other car on the road today so an amazing experience for the rear seat passengers as well there is no body roll either on corners or at high speeds. The car feels very stable and planted. Experts also said that the steering is heavy. It's not really heavy, but it's a tad small. Especially if you're a big guy like me with broad shoulders, there's just about enough space for you to hold it comfortably. It could be slightly better, but I'm not complaining. The other small issue that I have is the left leg pressing against the console. It's a little uncomfortable in the long drives touching against the, uh, the console. Maybe some foam or a little bit of cushioning will help it, but it's an issue. The other thing that I sort of miss is the armrests. Now this is a very easy to drive, effort, drive effortless car, you know. Um, you could be driving in with one hand most of the time and you do feel you miss a armrest which could be very useful, especially for long drives. The entire setup of the suspension and the shock absorbers is really really shocking in the sense that it's really good you don't do not feel the bumps and the oddities of the road that much as you would feel in other cars the xuv had a really bad setup of uh, its 
suspension, especially for the rear seat passengers. I think the other issue that has been addressed wrongly by the experts who reviewed the car in Dehradun is about the highway driving capability of this car. They said that the car is underpowered and non-aerodynamic and that had me worried because my last car was a 137 bhp turbocharged diesel beast and I was really worried if this car would be stuck on the highway. But none of that is true. After having driven it for a week, there is enough power available on demand for you to comfortably and uh, confidently make overtaking maneuvers. So there is nothing to worry about, really. So while there is no doubt about the power being available, the only concern could be the top speed and I guess this car would tap out and max out at 145 kilometers per hour but then you don't overtake on those speeds do you so overtaking no problem top speed maybe one of the other things that Maruti or Suzuki needs to address is just too many sounds and beeps inside the car and especially since it is such a quiet cabin, all these sounds sound very amplified. So for example, the sound of the turn indicators. Okay, it's tick tock, but it is louder than usual. And similarly, the same sound for hazard lights. After some time, it does get a little annoying. Yeah, and you can't control the volume of these things. So now talking about volume, the volume of the audio system also has a beep. Now pray, why did we need this? Then the sound of not putting on the seat belts for the rear passengers. Now rear passengers, first of all, it is mandatory to put the seat belts for this car. And if you don't put it, it keeps beeping continuously. It is sort of annoying. There are just too many sounds. Sounds on high speed. many beeps and sounds in this car some are useful like the lights left on and you know the door ajar or something like that but a lot of them I think can be turned down and a few like the volume beeps and sounds can be completely eliminated maybe if uh, Suzuki is listening or watching this video something for the future the touch screen display in the Alpha model is a really good one. It is very impressive. It is very easy to navigate. It is very user friendly. And the Archimedes music system that the Alpha model comes with is has got a very superior sound. You really enjoy the music, especially because there is a it's a very quiet cabin. However, you do miss the presence of a volume knob for easy reach out of habit and you have to go either to increasing the volume there or on your uh, steering wheel but you do miss that, that function. But there is a very interesting surround fader uh, function in, in this view system that I'll show you. And I'm going to play the music, so enjoy the music and the surround sound feature.
One of the other things that I'm disappointed about is not enough light inside the cable. Maruti has used filament bulbs inside the cabin and as you can see that they are not enough. Now this cabin light is not adequate for me to look for my stuff in the back of the car. And my car stands in the basement and there is not enough light even during the day. So therefore this is a struggle. What I can't understand is why Maruti won't use LED bulbs brighter lights inside the cabin in today's age. I had an XUV which was 10 years old and it had and I had an XUV which was 10 years old it had LED bulbs in 2012. So Maruti, some things are a mystery. Okay, the verdict. Okay, rather than calling it the verdict, let's say the things that I really like about the Jimny and the things that I'm not crazy about. First, the likes. I really, really like the size. I told you it's my primary car and it is very maneuverable, very practical. I used to drive an XUV before this, which was a seven seater and I used to feel guilty about howling six empty seats behind me when I was driving alone. The stance is great. The visibility is amazing. The drive is enjoyable and effortless. I really love that part. The elephant ears on this car are my favorite. The rear view mirrors. They give you the visibility and again, very roomy. Just feels great, feels good, feels positive. Amongst the things that I'm not too crazy about, are the beeps and alarms, multi multiple of them, and some are really annoying. The other is the chrome on the grill. Not too crazy about the chrome particularly on the grill, especially on this black car. An all black grill would have been far more sexier, I think. Third, the DRLs is an effort to turn on to turn off, to remember to turn on, and too many alarms and beeps. DRLs, by the definition of it, should be on all the time and effortlessly. Similarly, the micro-hybrid, the start-stop uh, engine function, it doesn't have a memory of its own. It resets to default on every time you switch on the car. That is also a little bit annoying. And the cabin lights I've already told you are filament, they are very dim, they are very dull, they are depressing. Another thing I wanted to say was everybody should name their Jimny. Every Jimny should have a name. My Jimny is called the Ibex, the mountain goat, which is versatile, hardy, brave, strong, handsome. Do write in the comments of what you think would be the other possible names appropriate for the Jimny and if you're getting your own Jimny what are you planning to name it please subscribe and keep watching this space for all the interesting things that I do and more interesting ownership videos of the Ibex please share the video as much as possible because there are so many myths around the Jimny that need to be busted and quickly Till the next time, I do hope that you're living the life that you want and if not, you're taking steps towards it. Good luck and take care.